Error 404 is the new EP from Susie Wu. Hi. Who joins us here in San Francisco. Yo. Welcome to our fine city. Thank you for having me, dude. This is your first time. Yeah, it is, yeah. I'm a newbie here. Yes. Yeah. And we were just chatting off camera about all these San Francisco-based shows and things. Oh, yeah. Television shows. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I've never seen, what is it, Full House? Full House. It's like the like big crazy. one. Yeah. And like, Who even, are like you? even in New York, I pretty much got the exact same response. They were like, Full House. I was like, Full House. But you're like a 90s baby born too late. Exactly, 98. Yeah. So like, I'm on the edge of everything. Yeah. I'm on the edge of two generations there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what is it about the 90s that really appealed to you? The 90s in general, ooh. I think that was like a, I don't know, what was it about that? I think the style. The style was cool. Um, it was better than the 2000s, I feel. Really? When I grew up. Yeah. Definitely the 2000s was like, what is happening, mostly, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. It was definitely a, like a what the heck is going on type of vibe, yeah. I think, throughout yeah. the first decade, right? It's like so weird to say. I feel like the parallel is like the 70s um, at the end of it when they like started getting really cheesy with stuff with like disco and stuff. And st stuff just top of the pops went from being cool to like terrible. Yeah. You know, that's it's the comparison. San Francisco! So good to be here. I like how the narrative of, of your story so far is is like, yeah, she's like this 90s influence girl that grew up in, in the 2000s. Yeah, right? totally. And, totally. And did you ever get down those wormholes on YouTube or, you know, videos and things online where you start off looking at an orbital video and then... I feel like my mom brought me up with a lot of it as well. So she brought me up with like License to Ill and Beck, Red Hot Chili Peppers and all this stuff that's very 90s based, like Nirvana, all that stuff. And then like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like for me now, I go down like YouTube polls of like house, like crazy like house beats with like 4,000 plays on them from like Chicago from like time ago. Yeah. What about Britpop? Were you, uh, did you ever get into that? Like Oasis and Blur? I get stressed out when I come to America, man. Cause they're like, I love British music. And I'm like, what do you like? And I'm like, the Spice Girls, Oasis. That's your scene? No. Blur, that's the only one. Really? Blur is like, I love Damien Albarn's voice, and I love his humor. Mm -hmm. But Oasis are like blur without any of the humor. They actually believe what they're talking about. I think, mm. you know, and uh, yeah, I think honestly, I think Britpop was a bit of a death of British music in a weird way. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like the '80s, like the Smiths and like Joy Division, you know, that was really interesting. The EP is taking a lot of those sounds, the, being informed by yeah, those sounds and, definitely. and mashing it into more current vibes. What about the lyrical content of, of some of what you write about? Uh, I feel like, yeah, a lot of it comes from like a rambling kind of poetry. Like I'm very inspired by Patti Smith. And like as much wordplay as I can get in there. And like if you really dissect my lyrics, there's a, there's a hell of a lot in it that isn't necessarily apparent at first so a lot of it's kind of a little bit cryptic but mm. it seems to me when I see people at the shows that they seem to understand a lot of stuff that I didn't think people would pick up on so that's exciting yeah. and really cool. There's a lot of tracks on this EP I know there's only a handful of songs but yeah. obviously that are really resonating and you know I think the two standouts of course are, are Highway and, yeah. and, and Grim Reaper. Yeah. Uh, first shout out to Jared Leto for helping expose oh, yeah. you to uh, you know, a new audience, so to speak. Thank you, Jared. Hey, did you Appreciate have a conversation that. with him on that? He tweeted no, basically I, I that this should have twenty. I said to him, speaking about 90 sitcoms, I was like, yo, thank you so much. My so-called life should not have been cancelled after one season. I was fully like, yeah. So he retweeted that. I thought like he liked it or something. So yeah, because um, that was like his earliest thing he was in. And um, me and my sister loved that, that first season of that. <laughs> so um, yeah. What is, I guess, that feeling of uh, you know putting your music out there and, and, and having that type of response? It's very new to me, to be honest. I feel like, um, honestly, this tour is the uh, just it becoming real, and I just feel I just appreciate it so much because, like, I think almost because I didn't expect for this to happen to me, I'm not one of those people who's like, my whole life I was gonna be like famous. I just wanted to make things. And I feel like maybe that comes across to other people, you know, that it's doesn't come, I don't know. Maybe that helped me, I don't yeah. know. Why, why is that? Because you have been playing music for a while. You play guitar mm. before you ventured into electronic. 
I don't know, I kind of feel like an actor who's like walked on a set and there's just like accidentally, just like a person and they just started acting and everyone's like, that's great. And they like think you're meant to be there and you're just like, Haha, yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just made it in my bedroom and um, I kind of thought I'd end up teaching music, studying it, doing it in my spare time. And it just so happened that people were like, nah, you're going in for it. Yeah. So that's cool. So when you first put out that EP, Teenage Witch, mm. You just were thinking, this is a nice little hobby, some label wants to help me put yeah, it out there and that's yeah. cool and that's it. Yeah, totally. I mean, it was great for me because I dropped out of sixth form at high school. I'm like, I definitely needed something to do. And I think also I just wanted to make my mum proud, so I was like, this is the thing, you know, yeah. What did she think when you first ventured into music? Because it's such an unstable business, it's like one of those, gosh, you're going to be. going to hate me for this. Um, she was like, you can't make money off of your art. She's an artist who makes money off of her art. <laughs> so I was like, really? But that's the thing, isn't it? It's classic, a parental thing to just worry. Like, you know, I mean, even if I probably wanted to be a lawyer, I think to some level, she, you know, parents are concerned about you taking any path and they want to make sure it goes right for you. But now she's got, she loves it, you know, and yeah. she's like, honestly, probably one of the biggest sources of my inspiration because she just pulls from everywhere and shows me things that I wouldn't go and look for myself so what kind of artist is she she does oil paints and she sort of paints like a lot of like b-movie chicks like rosemary's baby and like old school 1960s stuff super spooky drippy mm. stuff wow yeah. one final question and it seems like an obvious one Susie Wu how did that moniker that stage name come about so you know Fresh Prince of Bel-Air yes <laughs> back to like the 90s such a tenuous connection but it's real Someone said to him, this show's gonna be big. So you can choose your name and it's gonna be the, your name for the rest of your life. And he said, you know what, I'm gonna choose Will because I don't wanna be whoever is Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for the rest of my life. I wanna be Will Smith. I'm gonna be my name forever. And Susie Wu's a childhood nickname. So I thought I'd just be the most pure me that there is. And then I won't have to like, have Jekyll and Hyde syndrome and stuff. A lot of my friends go through that. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So there's there's no persona of Susie Wu. No, it's just me. It's just you. Mm -hmm. Loud. Proud. Proud. And here. And here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, it, it was really fantastic to meet you. I'm a fan of your music. That's right. I'm sweet. looking forward to this show tonight, mm. and can't wait to hear more new music from you. Nice. Great to meet you. Lovely to meet you, dude. Awesome. Susie Wu, you're watching B sides on air. Thank you all, especially you.